Greetings everyone, my name is Gustavo Alberola and I work as a Cloud Integrations Developer at MuleSoft. In this occasion I'll w I will be explaining how to make a basic Mule Studio application using the Microsoft Dynamics CRM Cloud Connector. In order to build and run the application we are going to need download and install a Mule Studio Community version or an Enterprise version for the on-premise version of the Dynamics, you will need a Dynamics CRM 2011 on-premise server installed and properly configured. And for the on-demand version, you will need a Dynamics CRM online account. Inside the Global Elements section of the flow, you will find two Cloud Connectors configuration for Dynamics CRM. The first one is for the on-demand version and the second one for the on-premise version. First, the on-demand version. Username and password are the ones that you use to log in into the Dynamics CRM account online. The organization service is the URL of the SBC that you can find inside your Dynamics CRM instance under Settings, Customization, Developer Resources and pick the organization service URL. Under the resources folders of the project I created two files. You will have to create the same. Inside the js.config use this configuration. The debug equal true is optional in this case. Under the Kerberos config file use this configuration. MyRealm.com is my realm in this case you will have to replace with yours and the KDC in my case this is the host I'm using you will also have to replace this my realm in lower case is the same as your realm in lower case this is the configuration for the on-demand version I will explain each of each one of these parameters with my configuration for the sandbox the Kerberos config path and login config path are the absolute path to the two files we config under the resource folders. The organization service URL you will find as you did with the on-demand inside your server. Username and password are the ones used to login into the Dynamics CRM server. The SPN is the service provider name and is the location where the service provider can be found. This is the flow that we are going to create. Don't let this scare you. It is more easy than it looks. It's a CRUD operation flow for the account entity. Here you can see the CRM operation. Create, update, retrieve and delete account. First we are going to add an HTTP endpoint. We are going to configure it to the host local host port 8081 and the path is going to be crude. Next add the connector and call the create operation. The logical name is the entity we are going to configure and in this case we are setting the attribute name to be mule bond. Next we add a log simply to add to an output to the console. Next we add a variable that we are going to use to store the payload in a flow bar that we will reference later. In this case GUID and the value we obtain from the payload. Next we add another operation from Dynamics update in this case and we get the flow bar then stored in the previous message processor to obtain the QID. The logical name we use account again we are referencing the same entity we are, I have set the telephone right now and I'm going to add name also previously the name was set to Mulebond I promoted to W7. I add another log to say that the account was updated. 
Next we add another operation, retrieve. GUID we obtain from the payload. The logical name is still account. And in this case I will tell the attributes I want to retrieve from the entity. I have telephone and I add name because we will, this will retrieve the telephone and the name from the created account. I also add another log, account retrieved, and then I set another variable. In this case the name will be data, the value is still payload, but in this case will be the result from the retrieve account operation, that is the account entity. We add another operation from Dynamics, delete in this case. We use the grid flow bar stored previously for the grid parameter and the logical name again account. We are going to add another log, in this case account delete. Next we are going to use a set payload to set the payload from another flow bar data, the entity that we obtain from the retrieve operation. And finally we add an object to chase and transform. Time to run our flow. I have a browser and below I have the output console of Mule. I'm going to call the localhost 8081 CRUD, that is our HTTP endpoint. We can see that the connector is trying to authenticate to Live ID, already authenticated, and we are going to see now the logs that we put in our flow from creating, retrieving, updating, and deleting account. And as a result, we have the entity already updated. Take note that when we created, it doesn't have a telephone and the name was mule bound in this case is the one promoted to W7 for detailed information on the Microsoft Dynamics CRM cloud connector operations check the documentation available in the github repository there are also mule school entries on the mules of blog that are helpful for understanding mule expressions or when integrating with other services and now, related to Mule ESB, you can visit MuleSoft website, where webinars and other documentation is available under the resources options. Thank you for watching. <laughs>